Welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop. I'm Pawpaw, and today we're going to be talking about the CNC machine, specifically the Inventables X-Carve. The software that we're going to be using today is Easel, and I want to be able to show you how to do curved letters in the Easel software. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you two different methods to be able to do the curved letters as you see here in Marines. This is the final result of what we want to be able to accomplish. And to do that, let's get started. I'm going to open up a new window. And the first thing I'm going to do is come up here to the text and we're going to use the homestead. Now then, down here, what I'm going to do is just backspace and we were going to type in the word Marines. Not wanting to let me get there, we go. Get rid of that last letter. M A R I N E S. So there we go. We have Marines. So now what I'm going to do is highlight that and I'm going to come up here to my apps, scroll down, and find the circular text, which is right here. We'll open up that window. And here you see the Marines. Over here, you have a lot of different choices. First thing is the gap. We can move this left and right to spread the words out. We also can change the radius to make it a larger radius. Okay. And then we can also change the starting angle so we can move this around. Now the one thing that you can do also is highlight the box. You can see here it is at minus 63. What happens if we do um, minus 66? There we go. That actually looks pretty good. That looks right in line there. Our radius at 6.6. .6. That's actually not a bad looking radius. Now, what else can we do in here? We can orient the letters and you see how that changed it. Oh, I don't want that. We can also change it and have it at the bottom if we wanted to. Well, in our case, I want to be able to keep it at the top. So I like that. I'm going to go ahead and import that into my drawing. And we'll bring that up to here. Now, if you'll notice, that's actually a little bit large for the space that we have. It would come right to the edge, and I don't want it to come completely to the edge like that. So what I'm going to do is remove that one. Let's go back and highlight it. We'll go back to the app. And unfortunately, there's not an easier way to do this that I'm aware of. So here we are again. This time, I'm going to type in um, my gap at 1.34. Okay, And I'm also going to type my radius at uh, let's try six this time and let's do my starting angle we'll leave that where we had it because that actually looked pretty good so minus 66 and let's see how that looks if we look at that that looks pretty good so let's import that in and we'll slide this up where it needs to be it's a little bit smaller now i think that looks pretty good all right, so now we don't need this any longer, so I'm going to remove that. And to be able to do that, I'm going to show you. We're going to click on it with a left click. I'm going to right click on the mouse and then hit remove. So now that's gone. So the next thing we need to do is to be able to put this logo in there of the marine symbol. So I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to go up here. We'll copy it, bring it into our new window, and I can do this and paste it, or I can do Control V. In this case, I'm going to do Control V, and there's the image. Now, I have it dark right now. Okay, so if I'm ready to carve, I like the position. All right, one other thing that I could do is highlight everything, and let's center it to the material. I'll go up here, scroll down, find center material. It shifts everything. Get rid of that. 
That's a nice looking presentation. Now if I want, if I don't want it quite centered, let's take this. What happens if we bring that right up into there? I actually like that better. So let's get this ready to carve. I'm going to highlight the entire box and we can move this up and we can curve it, carve it about an eighth of an inch. If we want to be specific, I can go, let's say, 0.1 of an inch depth. That's actually would be good, and that changes everything to there. Now let's go over and preview it, so we'll generate a detailed preview. And this may take a moment, but there we go. So there's your finished uh, carving, is how it's going to look. Now then, Let's do the same thing, but let's use a different method. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new window. And we're going to, first thing we're going to do is confirm that our x-axis is at 15 inches. Our y-axis also is at 15 inches. So again, we have a blank screen. But this time, I'm going to start with a circle. And I'm going to go up here and we're going to make this, we're going to lock this right here. We're going to make this circle, let's say, width of 10 inches. Okay. And let's bring that right up into here. I wonder if we can make it a little bit larger. Okay. I like 11 inches. Now what I want to be able to do is make this where it's going to be an outline. Because what I'm using this circle for is a guideline. I'm going to come up here to my bit and I'm going to change that to a 32nd of an inch. Now I have a thin line that I can use as a guideline. We're going to come back to that in just a moment. Now, let's close out of that. We're going to go up to our text and we're going to select a homestead text again. This time we're going to go ahead and back up, type in Marines. Oops, can't spell. There we go. Now then, with the Marines, I'm going to go back and highlight that. This time we're going to go up. Now, I want to show you this before we go there. Right now, this moves as a complete unit, and I can't do anything with it. The only thing I can do, I can grab this right here, and I can turn it. But I cannot get these letters onto this arc. That's why we need this app. And in this case, we're going to use the Exploder app. What this app will do is separate the letters. And we can go ahead and make this as a gap here. We can have them on top of each other. And we can bring them back the other way. This is really not important. What I want to be able to do is have these as individual letters. All right, so we're going to leave that and import it. And now then, I have this window. We're going to bring that right up to here. This I no longer need. So we're going to remove that. Now, what I want to do to begin with, to start making this happen, I'm going to go ahead and center this. And let's center that on the material. Okay. And now we're going to start working with the individual letters. Now, see, I can move this around. And I can position it there. I can position this one where I need to. Oops. We lost it. There we go. And we can grab this one. And all I'm doing right now is just getting them close to where I want them. And then we'll position it here in just a moment. How I want to be able to have it look. Okay. And that. And we'll bring the M over. All right, now we're going to grab this little, we're going to start with the I, because that's the center. 
and I want to be able to rotate it just a little bit to the left and that looks well, maybe just a little bit more yeah now this is a little bit time consuming in this software but to begin with as a new person you may not have the more advanced software to be able to do this so it is doable using the easel software again this is a free software that comes with your xcarve and it's an excellent program to be able to learn on to be able to get started with and i've been using this now for about a year and find it quite useful now see that one's not quite on the line so we're going to move it down just a little bit more there we go and i'm going to rotate this whoops lost it again there we are that looks pretty good we're going to rotate the a and we need to slide that a over a little bit and down same thing with the M. We're going to rotate that over. We're going to slide it down to the circle. That looks pretty good. And last, we're going to move the S. We're going to put the S right there. Now you also have these guidelines in light blue. And if I look across, that's pretty close on each case. So that's quite well balanced. Now then, next, I don't need this guideline anymore, so I can select that and remove it. So that is now gone. The last step that I'm going to do is go back and bring in my marine logo. So we're going to copy that. And I'm going to do it with Control C. Then I'm going to move over to my new window and hit Control V. And there we have it. Now, I can slide this where I want to be able to put it right up into this place. Or I can do as we did before, select everything. And then we're going to come up here to the edit, center to the material, unhighlight it, and there's our finished work. Now I've left it very dark, so that would be cutting very deep at this point. So now, let's go back and highlight everything one more time. And we can slide our bar up to around an eighth of an inch. Okay, in this case it's showing 0 0.10897. Let's just say I want to do the 0 0.1. There we have it. So there's two ways that you can be able to manipulate the depth of your cut. So that's going to be the finished product. Let's go over here to Generate Detailed Preview and see what it's going to look like. Now then, you see what we did. This is actually carving with that 1 32nd inch bit. Will it do it? Absolutely. If you want to use the V-bit, let's change it to the 90 degree V-bit. And let's go ahead and generate the toolpath again. So this takes a moment for it to generate. And there you have the second way to be able to do your uh, curved letters. Now then, with the Exploder app, it doesn't have to be just on a circle like this. You can draw any line, and then you can place your letters along it. Hope this will help you get started with being able to do words on a curve. Thank you for watching the video today. If you liked it, please consider hitting the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for future updates. And as always, I welcome you to my shop. You guys have a good day now. Take care.